group, slick tire cars. Morris, let's build some boost and put it in the beams, please. And off we go. 140, 60 foot. And Morris already out of the gas, as that was not what he wanted. A 140, 60 foot is not optimal for sixes. 1278 at 81 miles at L of Mark Krantz will stage up left side. That's not what Tony Martin wanted. He wanted to go get on the two-step a little too early and you saw him blow all the smoke out. You're not supposed to blow the smoke out. The smoke is supposed to stay in. At least that's what they tell me. 1008 at 134 for Mark. Red Coop over on the right-hand side. Left side is Damon Elf. Damon participated in the sick week deal with us, but he didn't participate that long. He broke the car on the test day. So he's obviously going to stay competition with the nice Supra. A little bit of tire spin on the nice Supra. But he's got it in third gear, and he is jamming his way towards the finish line left-hand side for Damon. He goes 913 at 157. That's a good pass for him. 975 and 134 for Tom McGilton. All right, so it looks like the call for the CO2 bottle has been answered. We're sending him down to Randy Miller's way. Goldstone, building the boost, bumps it in. Green light off, a little bit of tire chatter, 110, 60 foot, he pedals his way out of it. Goldstone to the top end of the racetrack, 726 at 198 with both parachutes out. That's not what he wanted, but so far it counts. Third Jake Camaro for Chris Roscoe, right side. Robert Gruber in the stick shift Pro Charge powered Mustang, left side. 990 at 150. Standing behind you. Coast across at a 12.07 at 93 miles an hour. The Cameron Alley is coming up next in the water box. And Aaron Gerke sitting behind John Ferroni. Ferroni again out of Australia, the right-hand drive Charger RT. He's looking for something that starts with a seven. He's trying to build boost in it. matching his run from Monday and that is a that's how we get it going Timothy Blythe in the 64 Triumph Spitfire the twin turbo LS powered hot rod on the right side and Cletus McFarland the mullet 86 El Camino the Steve Morris powered big block he's left side he gets close to the right side steers it away from the wall here he goes 687 at 216 put your hands together for Cletus McFarland he he said he was going to run 685 goes 687 at 216 and change and eight forwards Edwards in the beautiful sunset orange metallic Camaro on the left side of the racetrack Finish line left side, 8-11 at 174 for Greg Edwards. So EJ. And, the and the Camaro, EJ off the starting line. And the Camaro heading down right side. 520 at the eighth mile looking for a set. New hashtag that is, uh, that is CJ Durbin. Durbin took out the 408 and put in the 4.8 liter. The pickup truck goes 673 at 104 to the eighth mile. And that will keep him in the car. So again, he ran 687 earlier, but with over a one second reaction time. So Cletus would like to get a run in here with a good reaction time. A little bit of tire chatter. He's trying to hang on. 
to it. 128 to the 60 foot, and Garrett rode it out as long as he could, but unfortunately he's gonna coast across the finish line to an 1181 at 71 miles an hour, and he's not gonna wanna So I'm trying to be an optimist. He's bumped in and ready. This looks good, 138, 60 foot. 594 at 120 to half track. And a 10 flat with a three at just 98 miles an hour. But Tom Bailey clapping his hands and giving a high five to Joey Berry and says, yeah. Morris changed everything under the sun to see if it'll make a pass here. As it looks like it may not want to bump in on the trans brake. the starting line with authority 114 60 foot to the top end for Morris 683 at 214 miles an hour for Morris and if you have not turned in your time slips please do so right now Pat having to pedal it 121 60 foot gets close to the center line and doesn't back out of it 811 at 175 just rode the center line.